Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 19th day of June 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Atmex where we can show you where the spot prices ended the week. And you got to see this. Now, gold is at 1849.90, silver at 2193, platinum at 954.90, and palladium is actually just a few dollars lower than gold. So we reached parity, one to one ratio. Isn't that incredible? You know, what's one thing I've noticed about these particular four precious metals is that gold's been hanging tough at about 1850 silver has been you know between 2150 2050 i think maybe and 22 dollars hanging in tough but platinum and palladium have been all over the map so far so it's really interesting to see these two here on this side kind of remain well i don't want to say solid but more i guess hanging out in um that a range that's not so volatile compared to these two now let's head over here to coin world and they have an article by paul gilks dated June 17, 2022, 8 a.m., and it says here, CCAC recommends designs for the 2024 dollar programs, and there's some really cool ones on here, and I wanted to share those with you here this morning. Now, it says here, proposed designs for the reverse of the 2024 Native American dollar and two of the four 2024 American Innovation dollar coins were reviewed and rec uh, for recommendation June 14th by the um, Citizens Coinage Advisory Committee, and I imagine the two remaining American uh, Innovation dollar coins are going to be... Um, talked about and voted on coming up here in the next CCAC meeting. Now, the 11-member advisory panel considered 10 proposed designs rendered to recognize the centennial anniversary of the Indian Citizen Act of 1924. Meeting by teleconference, the panel also reviewed recommendation for the Treasury Secretary proposed designs for the reverses of two of the four 2024 American Innovation Dollar Coins, one recognizing Alabama and the other Illinois. 11 designs were considered for the Alabama dollar and 15 for the Illinois dollar. And we're going to be going through those here this morning. Now, proposed designs were rendered by members of the U.S. Mint's engraving staff, as well as outside designers that are part of the Mint's artistic infusion program. And I think one thing that would add a lot of interest to this particular set, and I think that um, uh, there was an article the other day we read about this that just says, hey, get the input of people from that state, the students of that state, you know, um, especially students, you know, they would, the Mint would be um, really smart to get the students involved and get lifelong collectors of their products. So I think that's a missed opportunity on their behalf. So if you could get those kids to make some recommendations for their particular state's American Innovation Coin, well, that would be something special. Proposed designs for the third and fourth 2024 American Innovation Dollars representing Maine and Missouri will be considered for recommendations by both the CCAC and Commission of Fine Arts later in the calendar year 2022 there you go maine and missouri are next now for the native american dollar president calvin coolidge signed the law june 2nd 1924 the indian citizenship act of 1924 granting u.s citizenship to all non-citizen native american indians born within the territorial limits of the united states but you didn't know that huh isn't that embarrassing now according to the u.s mint's thematic narrative for the 2024 narrative, uh, native american dollar reverse the 1924 act notably did not require american indians to give up their tribal citizenship to become u.s citizens allowing individual Indian people to preserve their tribal identity and their right to communal tribal, tribal property. Um, I think that's a really big deal. And even fact today, I think the United States allows some dual citizenships. Now, a major impetus for enhancing the laws was to recognize the thousands of Indians who served in the armed forces during World War I. So that's, they are going to say, is the reason. Okay. Now, not only did the Act give American Indians the right and protections afforded to citizens of the United States, but also it added the diversity of thought and culture of our nation by unlocking the doors for Indians to become citizens of the United States on their own terms, according to the immense um, coin theme narrative. And if you remember the um, code talkers, I think that was a really important part of World War II. And without that, we may not have been successful as we were. And there's a great movie for that as well. So the design recommended by the CCAC for the reverse of the 2024 Native American dollar illustrates two eagle feathers and an American flag to reflect the dual citizenship of Native Americans. Isn't that interesting? Two, all right? Now, regardless of who rendered an eventual approved design, all sculpts for the die production are executed by members of the Mint's engraving staff attached to the Philadelphia Mint. Whatever easy for me to say, whatever proposed Native American dollar reverse designs is granted final approval will be paired with the common obverse depicting Shoshone Indian guide Sacagawea, who provided guidance for the Lewis and Clark expedition. She carries her infant son, John Baptiste, in a papoose on her back. Now, sculptor Glenna Goodacre's Sacagawea design first appeared in the Sacagawea dollar, dollar introduced in 2000 and was used through 2008 and was maintained as an obverse for the currently 
ongoing Native American dollar series introduced in 2009. I think that is an amazing, it's a beautiful coin, no doubt about it. I usually get them every year. Now, American Innovation Dollars, and I know I'm about five minutes in, I have about 10 minutes left, and I think I'll be able to make this. Now, for the American Innovation Coins, the reverse designs recommended for the American Innovation Dollar for Illinois pays homage to blacksmith settler John Lane, who moved from his native New England to Homer Township, Illinois. Lane is credited as one of the first manufacturers of the steel plow. And the steel plow is kind of important because before that they used an iron plow. And iron plows, well, the dirt and the soil stuck to the plow, making it very inefficient. The steel with the smooth edges and the sharp edges made the uh, soil fall right off. Now the CCAC recommended coin design features. Uh, a large steel plow blade affixed to a right-handed beam and braces behind the plow is a stand of big blue stem prairie grass and a field of soil below. The reverse design recommended by the CCAC for the American Innovation Dollar for Alabama pays tribute to the Saturn V rocket designed and, and built at the George C. Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And I imagine they don't want to mention Werner von Braun, right? That's interesting. The heavy lift vehicle was as tall as a 36-story building and, at launch, generated more power than 85 Hoover dams. Initially developed to support the Apollo program for human exploration to the moon, in total, 13 Saturn V rockets were launched between 1967 and 1972 from the Kennedy Space Center with no loss of crew or payload. Now, do you have a space center in your state, a spaceport? I didn't think so. There's only just a few in the United States. The recommended design illustrates the power and force of the Saturn V rocket lifting off. It's incredible, actually. These design images are remarkable, and I can't wait to show you them. I'm really excited. With the moon in the background, the CCAC recommends adding the inscription Saturn V to the design using a typeface from another design. Okay, so they've, they've recommended it, but it doesn't mean that's going to be the final one that they do employ. Now, the American Innovation Dollar Series employs a common obverse introduced in 2019. The obverse employs a rendering of the Statue of Liberty by AIP designer Justin Kuntz, sculpted by dye, uh, for dye production by U.S. metallic artist Phoebe Atpill. Kuntz's design also incorporates a design element taken from the introductory coin in the series in 2018. The machine gear appears in the field below in the motto, In God We Trust. And usually they switch out that gear element every single year to a different cog, a different with different teeth, different numbers of teeth, and it's pretty cool. Now, no Native American dollars or American Innovation dollars struck with a circulation quality finish are being distributed into general circulation. I think that is a miss. Each one of these American Innovation dollars for each state should be distributed in the state that they are representing. That's my opinion. What do I know? Such coins are being offered by the U.S. Mint in bags, rolls, and or boxes for numismatic sale at premiums above face value. That means you can only buy at the mint above face value. So they got a racket going. I don't know. But they're definitely offering coins that are more than face value. Some people don't like that. I myself, I love that I can at least get them, and I'm, that's what I'm happy about. No dollar coins have been released into general circulation by official means since James A. Garfield presidential so, uh, dollar in December 2011. I almost said silver. That's not true. Now, that was a really great article, and we're going to be talking about these designs. So that's the one, and that's the one they've picked. Um, and let's go ahead and look at the ones that they had an option to go over. Now, here's the United States Mint website, and we are eight and a half. Now, here's the images for the 2024 Native American dollar coin. These are just remarkable, just beautiful imagery. And the symbol of the feather in the Native American culture is, um, well, it's profound. And it is quite different from the white feather of the European culture, at least the um, European descendants culture. You might want to look that up. White feather, it's interesting. Now, here we go. Indian citizenship back from 1924. It's got the American flag in the background. And that looks pretty cool. Look at that. I like these. Really cool designs. No doubt about that. That one's too rigid, too structured. Uh, the other ones, I think, were really cool. Um, pass on that one. I think the other ones are really cool. That one's really cool. I like that one. That one's nice. That, wow, looks like I, some kind of dream catcher or something there. I don't know. Not sure. Maybe wrong about that. There we go. That's all right. Yeah. Interesting designs here on these. Really cool. Oh, yeah. Nope. That's it. That's the one. I hope that's it. Oh, man. I love that. So two, right? Two feathers, dual citizenship. That is amazing. That is cool. I like that. There they, I, think with that, I think that's the number one. Okay, so hopefully you like some of those. I know my favorite is probably going to be that one. And let's go to the other ones here today. So this is the CCAC meeting images for the 2024 American Innovation Dollar featuring Illinois. There we go. That one's not too bad. So that's the steel plow. And uh, I'm glad they actually um, picked the plow instead of the other one, even though the other one is quite remarkable. I, but I think this one helped out way more people. Now, this is Illinois steel plow. Talked about the advantages of a steel plow over a iron plow. Um, there's some really cool designs here, no doubt about it. 
I like that one. Working in the field with the horse there. Uh, very cool imagery. And that one's just completely focused on the plow. No soil, no earth. That one's cool. It shows you what's going on and how it's used. I like that. Very cool. Look at that. Growing food. thought that was interesting. And there you go. I kind of like that one. It's got the plow. It's got the... Uh, what is that? What? I want to say windmill, but I know I'm wrong. And then the field and the soil. That's really cool. And then this one is the Eaterberry biopsy attachment. And this is the one they did not um, recommend. And this was hence to something to do with the um, endoscopy or uh, stomach linings or something. And I'm really glad they didn't pick it because, wow, yikes. Um, not my favorite, but it is a remarkable and probably very important um, innovation, no doubt about it. Um, it looks like a hose attachment to outside gardening tools, so it kind of throws me off a little. Not gonna, not just yeah. There you go. Um, that's even a different look than some of the other designs here. So that's that piece. That's just, I don't know. Not a not a doctor, and I don't play one on YouTube. Not my favorite designs. Eaterberry gastroscope biopsy attachment. So it looks like they take that thing, jam it down to your stomach, and get a biopsy. Which a biopsy, I think, is um, like a piece of tissue they take so they can put it under a microscope and see what's what of your cell structure there you go so i think uh i think that's going to be about it for that let me go here one more thing now these are the cc ac meeting images for the 2024 american innovation dollar coin from alabama these are my favorite um of the two coins so far look at these the imagery look at that come on i just got chicken skin that is amazing that is just gorgeous. And really, I think the Saturn V rockets, I think the main thing were the five rockets there um, and the stages. So, um, you know, that's why I, call, I think it's Saturn V because of the five rockets there. Um, and that one, I think that's what really should be um, showcased and highlighted here. Uh, oh, yep, there's the five right there. But they, you're not really seeing the blast from them, which is kind of interesting. There's the blast right there taken off getting out of low Earth orbit. In fact, I think they this is one of the only um, space vehicles that they could get out of low Earth orbit because they had to have these kind of engines. And the engines not only had to be powerful, but they couldn't be too powerful as to, um, well, um, <laughs> humans have to travel aboard there, right? So they can't take too many Gs. So this is a really interesting um, predicament that they were in. They had to be powerful enough to get out of low Earth orbit and at the same time not so powerful that the human occupants could survive the launch. Now look at that. Alabama here, United States of America, Saturn V prod rocket, um, Apollo 4, um, what's that, 6, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth, all the way to Skylab 1 from 1967 to 1973, United States of America. And that's really cool. Very cool design, but it doesn't show the five rockets. Look at that one's kind of lifting off. That's cool. I like that one. Not, I just, wow, look at that coming right at you, 3D. Look at that. And it doesn't really have too much of the, of the uh, rocket blasts coming out from the sides, like blooming, but still, that's amazing. That is really cool. <gasps> Oh, see, here we go. Okay, now you're starting to feel the power of these rockets. Here you go. This is amazing. Look at that. That's what the Saturn V is all about to me. And look at the font on that. I just got chicken skin. Love that. <gasps> yep, that's the one. Forget about it. I got a winner. That's mine. <laughs> hey, CCAC, that's the one we want right there. Look at that with all the inner workings of the pipes and the tubing and the housings. Yikes. And it's got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Thank you very much. Case closed. Now, off for the plus ones today. This one's in honor of Father's Day. And this is Harry Chapin, Cats in the Cradle. And it's got subtitles in Espanol. So hopefully you'll be able to check that out. It's a great song. It's a beautiful song. And hopefully it'll give us some reflection as to what might be important in our lives and help us reprioritize ourselves. Now, here for another plus one. If you see here, there's a young girl here, an older uh, girl here, older lady. Um... You know, and it says here, it looks like an eternity, but it's a short trip. Enjoy life and be kind. Yeah, I think I love that. That's great. Listen, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're hearing, see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker.